Today we're doing a fall favorites video, a try on haul, some cute stuff, everything I've been loving for much the fall. So try on some clothes, show you what I've been absolutely loving and we'll just get right to it. For the food items, we have some good ones, lots of pumpkin, obviously this time of year. Pumpkin spice Cheerios, this is almost gone. I got this at Costco, they had the pumpkin and the apple. We actually haven't opened the apple yet, but the pumpkin is, it's just like the right amount of spice. This is so good. I just eat it dry out of the box. Then we have these pumpkin spice cookies from Trader Joe's. I didn't even realize there's one left. That just goes to show you how much we love them. They're so good. They're shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. I feel like the yogurt throws people off, but it doesn't taste like yogurt at all. It is just the best, like perfect amount of spice, warm. Oh, these are so, so good. I can't believe there's one left. That's annoying. Then we have pumpkin spice teeny tiny pretzels. I talked about these in my last YouTube and I tried them and they are just as good. They are so good. Perfect amount of like sweet and salty and crunch. They're small, so I'll show you them. They're like, they are teeny tiny, but so good. And then these, these are just a staple. The pumpkin spice or pumpkin flavored Jojo's. I feel like the cream in the Jojo's are so much better than Oreos. I don't know what it is. I'm just biased. Not so much better, but these are really good. Get them every year. The one item I ha like don't have is we've been obsessed. We just ran out. It's the chickpea, the Bonza chickpea pizzas. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that we, if you don't follow me, you should. Um, we eat them weekly. They're a higher protein pizza and the kids all love them and Ava loves them, which is a huge deal. So, so good. I, you can get them at Target, Walmart. So I don't have any of that. The second item is Bilt Bars. Obviously, I've showed them before, love Built Bars, but they're granola bars. Unfortunately, I just ate the last one before I filmed this, and I was like, dang it, I wanted to film that in my favorites video. So I, they restock their granola bars, and those are really good. Backs of food. So this, I think this is seasonal at Trader Joe's, the pepper jelly jam. I love this. It's sweet. It's hot and sweet. So I personally love this in wraps. I do a laughing cow cheese this and then i will do turkey lettuce whatever and put it in a wrap and roll it up and it's like that combo of like savory and sweet love that and then last item is i've been loving this the cocoa and sea salt i got rid of the box from trader joe's instant oatmeal this again is the perfect amount like if you like that salty sweet so so good so good so i what i do with this is I mix this exactly how it says, water, microwave, and then I add a scoop of protein powder just to like get some protein. You don't have to do that. It also sweetens it up and makes it taste like dessert. And then I top with like berries and almond butter and it is so good. So that is all the food items. Beauty and like hair stuff. We'll start with the hair stuff first since I don't have as much. This is a new item that I just started using. It's the Kevin Murphy Young Again Dry Conditioner. So I've been spraying this on my ends because I wash my hair every like third to fourth day. So especially before I curl it, I find that I really like this just to add that moisture back because sometimes my roots get oily, but my ends get dry. So this I've been really liking. And then for dry shampoo, I use Batiste. I've talked about that before. I will link that also. For my like go-to product that I use every time after I wash my hair and blow it out. I recommend it to all my clients at the salon is the Body Builder. This is mousse. So what you do, you spray it, you rub it in your hands and put it at your roots. And then I blow dry my hair upside down. Absolutely love this, been using this forever. Then I always get asked about my curling iron. I have it linked to my Amazon storefront. I've shared it on my Instagram, but if you didn't see it already, it's the, I don't know if it's, some people call it, Baba Bliss, I call it Baby Bliss. I don't know what the name is. I have the one inch curling iron. You can get this exact one on Amazon. So that is that for my hair. Beauty wise, I've already shared this. I don't know if I posted on YouTube. I'm like at the end of this. This is the Ela Skin Tint. 
I have been absolutely loving this for like summertime. It was the perfect like light glow. And then even now with the seasons changing, I'm not like a heavy makeup person. So, and I also put concealer and bronzer. So I feel like this is a nice base. Love this. It just gives a nice glow and it's hydrating, but doesn't make your skin look super oily. At least for me, like I have combination skin. Then this is a new one, this Kosas foundation. This definitely has a little bit more coverage than the Ela Skin Tint. It is a foundation, but it's not super heavy. This is actually what I have on my face today. And I am in the shade, oh, I can't, medium neutral 220. This I really like, again, I've been having this problem where my skin's been so dry, but I still get shiny. So I'm looking for something that's not drying, not too, cakey but like I still don't want the shine and I've been really really liking this I heard their uh, concealer is great too but I haven't tried that yet then you can see how much I love this one the milk pro setting spray I used to love the urban decay which I still do and the Charlotte Tilbury but for some reason this one since my skin's been drier I feel like this just refreshes your face throughout the day so I will spray this on like just throughout the day and I need to desperately order another because I'm done. Then this, it's so obnoxious how much this is, the Laneige lip mask. I have it in vanilla. It's a sleeping mask. I use it all day long. It's super pricey, but it's like one of those things that is worth it. Your lips feel so good with this, so moisturized. I feel like especially for the winter months coming up, those drier months, this would be great. It's just, it's worth it. Then for my moisturizer, I've been using this and I've used it in the past. It's the Trader Joe's Ultra Hydrating Moisturizer. I feel like I saw it somewhere that someone said it was a dupe for, I forget what for exactly, but I find I, I really like this. So I just get this at Trader Joe's and it's my face moisturizer. And then speaking of Trader Joe's, their pumpkin body butter. I just think this smells so good. It's not overly pumpkin spicy. It's more or less like a sweet kind of pumpkin smelling. I absolutely love it. I think it's very light. The lotion itself is thick. This is the second one I bought. I haven't opened it yet. And mine upstairs, it's thick. Like it's a heavy, it's great for dry skin. So I do love that. And then I've talked about this five million times. The Sol de Janeiro. This is the Brazilian Crush Spray. It just smells so good. It's a warm scent. I don't know how to describe it. It's described as pistachio and salted caramel. I was using it all summer. I had the mini and then I just bought the billet, bit the bullet and got the big one just because I absolutely love it. And I feel like it's a good transition scent. To me, it's not like a super summery scent because it is very warm. So I will be using this some like random items that I have to show you. So first we'll start with this one. This is from Trader Joe's. It's vanilla pumpkin scented candle. This, they're candles. This was really inexpensive and it smells so good. It's, it's very light. Like Dave really likes this and he hates anything that's pumpkin because it's more of a sweet sense. It's not like I'm over, no one come at me. I'm over like the overly spiced pumpkin. Like all the cinnamon smelling, I like it, but I feel like it's so overdone now that I kind of just like that light hint, even with food and stuff. So I know, and I am a pumpkin spice freak, but I feel like it's overdone. And then these phone cases. So I actually ordered one and then the company sent me two more because everyone was sharing about them. They're so sweet. So this is the one I ordered myself. And I tagged them and they were like, hey, we're releasing a fall. We would love to send you some. So I was like, okay. So they sent me two of their fall ones. This is the best phone case. So it has a little thing there so you could hold it. And then it has a pocket for your credit cards right there, which is amazing. And then this also turns into a stand. So if you wanted to like prop your phone up, you just go like this and then it will, you can see, it will just stand up on its own. I have been loving this. They sent me the... This is one of the fall ones. I forget what it's called. I will link the company. I don't have a code with them. I just genuinely love them. This is the leopard print one. So cute. They have a bunch on their site. I will never use any other phone case again. Maybe one day I'll get a code with them if they see this, but these are a staple. 
clothing. Okay, so for kids fashion, I've been loving Old Navy. It just, the kids grow out of stuff so fast. So the price point is excellent with Old Navy. And as I'm doing this, a package is being delivered. <laughs> Wait, hold up. So price wise, Old Navy is absolutely great. And especially with the kids, the way they grow out of things. And I've been finding that they have really good quality and it's been washing well, wearing well. So definitely don't sleep on Old Navy. They always have discounts and coupon codes. So make sure you use those. I'm a coupon shopper. I showed these in my last video, but in case you didn't see this, I ordered also for Old Navy. <laughs> quick, quick. Um, I love neutrals so me and Ava can match because it's hard to find like mommy and me matching stuff so what I do is like I will order my stuff and then I've been loving Old Navy, Pink Lily, H&M, those are like the staple places for her. Pink Lily only has a couple of things but H&M, Old Navy, been absolutely loving for her so this is like a sweater dress which easily, I could easily match that so like if you're looking to match your child definitely check out those and then just kind of like pick out what you want to wear and then pick out something similar on a site for them because it's hard to like get them at the same place besides pink lily pink lily has a lot of really cute mommy and me matching stuff right now and then i showed this so this would be for our fall family photos so eva has this little corduroy skirt and this shirt right here just basic neutral colors she also got this one but i'm doing the corduroy and then for the boys and Dave, we got these shirts. So our boys range from sizes six and seven to Peter's like an extra, extra large. He's like a men's small or like an extra, extra large in kids. And then Dave's either a large or extra large. And this shirt they had in every single size, which is amazing. So for your fall family photos, Christmas photos, if you're looking like for items like that definitely check out old navy i find a lot target usually has some and kohl's usually has some then the other thing i want to talk about is this is a local company to me the girl's name is veronica the company is fair baby i think their websites i'll put it in my description box fair baby clothing such cute stuff like it is i am not a big graphic kind of person and it's so hard for some reason to find just like neutral stuff for your kids she has the cutest stuff, especially if you're in the baby toddler stage, tons of just neutral. So this was, I forget what this was called, the fall set, I think. Just so cute. Like this would be so cute with little, I mean, even just to wear around the house, but with little like booties, I think that would be so cute. An old jacket, so adorable. This was the waffle knit. I remember the name of this because as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need this. So it's the shirt and then pants. Like how adorable and she's so sweet. So it's local owned, she ships all over a mom, which I love that. So that is the kids stuff. Now on to me. I've been loving, no one come at me. I haven't worn these yet, <laughs> but Pink Lily has been having the cutest stuff. So these are clean. I know they're on my dining room table. They're clean, see? But look how cute these boots are. Like, oh my goodness. And I've tried them on, they're super comfy. Again, I haven't worn them yet but well besides like around the house but so far they were really comfy so these are more of like a chunkier kind of shoe which i just think this is super cute for fall and i've been looking for boots like this like this with skinny jeans or leggings so cute i mean even baggier jeans i'm still getting on the trend so i got those and then these ones i have worn and they're very comfortable i will link them because i honestly forget the names they were toe pointed boots i think so cute a little bit of a smaller wedge which i personally like because i don't like to wear things too high every once in a while if you're going somewhere but this is i would say like maybe what two inches maybe so cute these have been super comfy i could already tell i'm gonna wear them all over in the fall and honestly the price point was really great there's a code use it so for pink lily i have this jacket i've worn it so many times so cute then I also have from Pink Lily, these shorts, I will put up a picture of shorts. These rompers, I will put up a picture. These are so comfortable. It is so cute. It screams pumpkin spice. Absolutely love it. I wore it with 
Pink Lily has, it's a dupe for the Align tank. It is like slightly cropped, but in something like this, you can't see it at all, depending on your torso, torso length. Absolutely love, oh, I love these. So one of my absolute favorites. This shirt I'm wearing right now is actually from Airy. It's the Lumberjane. It is the comfiest shirt I've ever worn. Like it is just so soft, comfy, it's oversized perfect with leggings. You could wear it open, closed, whatever you want to do. You could dress it up with booties. Just like I'm selling you on this like I work for Aerie. I, I love it. I also bought it in the gray. It's just, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to order every single color, every single neutral color they have. I got it in the gray. And then also Aerie has these great tanks. They were super inexpensive. I will link them. The tags is $19.95, but they were on sale. I want to say it was like $9. They're very light. Not like the sturdiest material. I don't even know how to describe it. They're very light and sheer. So, but they were like $9. So for layering, they are great. And then also, this has been another one of my go-tos from Aerie. I will pop up a picture in this one too. This green color is so pretty. Absolutely love that. And then I did just get some jeans from American Eagle. For, not from American Eagle, from Abercrombie. So I'm gonna try those on and show you those. And then I got a couple of things from Lori Bells, which is another one of my favorites. So I will show you those too, because Lori Bells is another place like that I shop. Oh, I was giving you my shopping list. I forgot what I was doing. So my shopping, like the places I shop, Pink Lily, Amazon, Lori Bells, which I do have a code for Lori Bell's Janie 10, but it's only off your first purchase and it gets you 10%. Um, Aerie and American Eagle, love them. I've been leaning more towards Aerie though lately. And then I already said H&M and Old Navy and Target for kids stuff, kids stuff. So from Amazon lately, Amazon has cute stuff. I just got, oh, you know what? I just got delivered a pair of leggings. I didn't try them on yet. Here they are. A girl I follow that like literally every time she recommends something and I've gotten it, I've loved it. And I'm like, I want to be like you where like when you recommend things, like I want to be able to be the person that if I recommend it, I want everyone to love it. I know everyone's sizes are different and bodies are different, but that's besides the point. So she recommended these leggings. They're just black leggings. I will tag them. They do feel similar to Aligns, but a little heavier and almost like slipperier, slipperier but that's what they look like. So I'll link those, but I got this from Amazon. I've worn it a couple times. I always get compliments on it. So cute and comfy. I got this and then I got a shacket and those two things I've been loving. Lori Bells, oh, speaking of Lori Bells, if you're looking for tanks, they're, I meant to share this one. Oh, that's not the right tank. They're tanks, they're the Lily and Lottie, oh, I'll tag the actual tank. These are absolutely great. These are a little bit thicker, great for layering. I love the way they're cut. They're a little bit higher up. Really nice, absolutely love these tanks. I own them in every single color. I think they're still stocked in sizes. So I just got my Lori Bell's packaged in. Then I ordered, oh, I ordered leggings. I, them, I love their leggings. That is my go-to for leggings. So I will show you those. I don't know if I have those. Oh, I do. Oh, thank God. I have a little paper. So I got the Cam Crossover Leggings by Lily and Lottie in black in a medium. So they have that like little crisscross there. I will try these on. And then I got, I have to actually return these because I got a large. I'm going to try it on. If they fit, I'll keep them. But these were, oh, that's why I got the large because they're like the fox or faux, I always do that, faux leather kind of leggings. Can you see that? So I got them in a bigger size just because I figured they might run small. Usually I'm a medium, I'm like a size eight in jeans. And then I got the Murphy Distressed Hoodie by Chelsea Dubar. I love her, I love, every time they have some of her stuff, I absolutely love it. Oh, I, I already know I'm gonna love it. This was on sale too, I got it for $32 there it is i think it's cropped but i got it in a size i heard it was oversized it's medium but i love this mocha color i have a couple of things from them in the mocha color love that 
Okay, this might be a miss. <laughs> the leggings I absolutely love. So these are the Lori Bell's um, leggings. They're like the crisscross leggings. So they have this, you can't really see, they have that like material there that like crisscrosses. Absolutely love the leggings. If you're looking for leggings that don't show, they don't show when you bend over, they're nice and thick, super comfy. My go-to with like booties, I have them. They're definitely ankle length. I just have them all the way up with booties or anything like that or sneakers, love that. But the only thing I don't know about is this shirt. So this is the Chelsea DeBauer um, distressed hoodie. It's definitely distressed. I kinda, it's giving me potato sack vibes. So, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, should I keep it? I don't know. Leggings, yes. Leggings, definitely yes. The shirt. So these are the like faux leather ones, leather leggings from Lori Bell's. I, I don't know. They're definitely like ankle length. I just don't know if I love them. They're in a size large, so I feel like they run small. They're definitely like tight on me. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them. What do you, you like them? I like them. You do? I do. Should I keep them? I don't know. Yep. Really? Yep. So Dave likes them. They're doing something for me. <laughs> I got a package from Abercrombie. This is perfect timing. So I love, I don't know, I ordered a couple of things and only one came, but I love Abercrombie jeans. So that's my go. So I have different go-to for places. Like there's not just one place I like to shop, like for sweaters and things like that and leggings, it's Lori Bell's, um, flannels, oversized sweaters pink lily and airy and then for jeans and like basic tanks and things like that i love abercrombie and i am sorry that's steve's alarm going off and i am a curve love kind of girl with abercrombie so this is the skinny ankle jeans these are my absolute favorite jeans kind of sad because i ordered two more kinds that are like a baggier fit and i wanted to like show those because i'm trying to get i know those are trending right now so i'm trying to like get into that trend but unfortunately they didn't come today so you're stuck seeing me in skinny jeans but yeah i wanted i have these already the super ankle skinny high rise i got a size 28. uh once i have are really ripped and i just figured like going places i didn't want jeans that were super ripped so I got these i will show you what they look like on now i absolutely love them so yes they're ankle jeans but they were all i got them during the like to know it sale so they were all sold out of the regular so i just got them in long and i feel like they just fit perfect they're super comfy i already own these in multiple my door just flung open i already own them in multiple like lengths colors whatever but like i said i just wanted ones that weren't as ripped I'm a skinny jean kind of girl. Like, I will definitely have to show you guys when I get the other jeans in, but these, if you're looking for a staple pair of jeans, absolutely love these. Eight. These, the kids are outside playing right now. Wait, but we were kind of outside and this was just delivered. So, got some GNC and some Abercrombie. Of course, as I am filming that, the FedEx package came. So I actually have more things to show you. This is from GNC. They, I've wanted, oh my God, are you kidding me? Good thing I like unbox this so you can see how, this is why, I don't even know if it's FedEx or GNC, but like, you can't even see really. This, well, I'll show you when I take it out. Like, completely destroyed. Okay. Um, anyway, it's from GNC because I wanted the Alani New Witch's Brew. They're just like dumped in there. But when I ordered GNC at the time was having a buy one, get one, 50% off. I said, I know I like posted it the day of on my Instagram. My hair is just out of whack. I posted it the day of my, on my Instagram, but I don't think the sales, it might still be going on. I don't think so. So I got the Alani New Witches Brew, a case of them. It just out of the case. And then I also got, this just looks old though. I have to look at this because this just looks like dirty. Like, is it just me or does it look like dingy? Oh my, like, are you kidding me right now? Okay, so I also, the witch's brew is excellent. 
excellent regardless of the packaging I was literally like ready to end this video and then I just get this Abercrombie order and my camera's about to die but I just want to show you really fast what I got I will definitely post some pictures I'll take some pictures and I'll put it like up on here because I don't know how long I have with this camera so I got just this like basic crop black tea I actually didn't order this this was just in my order which is weird then Abercrombie has the best bodysuits ever so I got this bodysuit I'm gonna link everything I got Everything I talked about will be in the description box. So I got this bodysuit in a size medium. Look at this, look at this. Just a basic white tank. It's not cropped, regular length. Those are a rare find, so I got that. And then I got that in a size medium. Then I got the same, the super skinny high rise ankle jeans that I already showed. I got that in a size 28. This, oh, these are regular. And then the, oh, sorry, I'm looking outside and my kids are acting like absolute loony bins. And then I also got these, the 90 straight ultra high rise. I'll definitely take a picture in these when I try them on because these are a different kind of jeans. These I got in a 29, eight regular, curve love, everything curve love. That was my Abercrombie order, but anything I linked, I'll put everything in the description box. I also showcase more right on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on there, I'll put my little name. I always put stuff in my stories and try on hauls and things like that. All my links over there too. But I hope you like this. Let me know, comment below if there's anything I missed or there's like a fall favorite that you think I should try. I would love that. I'm always open to new places. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.